guys, uh, welcome back. Today I want to talk about the Stream Deck, Elgato's Stream Deck. I use a Stream Deck XL and it integrates with OBS, my Blackmagic gear, my HyperDeck, my ATEM, my ATEM TV studio, uh, all that stuff. It also, I use it to uh, perform actions in Windows like uh, run code in VS code or do other things. And up until now, the Stream Deck has been pretty much an 80% solution for me. And what I mean by that is I can either run the native stuff and have control of OBS and VS code and other, you know, system things, run a stream, things like that. But I can't control my ATEM gear. So I've been using BitFocus Companion to run my ATEM gear. That gives me OBS control. But I lose the like Windows app specific things. Like I can't run code in VS Code with a hit of a button anymore. So I I'm stuck with Stream Deck in normal Stream Deck software mode, where it's pretty much an 80% solution, or up until recently. BitFocus Companion, which is another 80% solution. However, uh, something that I don't see really advertised very much is the fact that BitFocus Companion can be run as a plugin. And running it as a plugin gets me that 100% that I wanted. It captures that last 20% that was missing from either option. I don't know if I missed it or it's not covered very well in the documentation or whatever, but here I am today to show you how to run BitFocus Companion as a plugin in your Stream Deck to capture some functionality that's missing. For me, it, it gets me where I need to be without having to you know, code custom scripts to interface with the HyperDeck or the ATEM and then run them as code. It just works. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to, you're going to, want to do is install uh, Stream Deck software and get that fully updated. You're also going to want to install BitFocus Companion. Uh, this video, installing BitFocus Companion is very easy, but we're going to assume that you have it up and running. So as you can see, here's my Stream Deck running in Stream Deck mode. And if I go and kill the Stream Deck software, I can return to BitFocus and rescan the USB. We're good here. And now on my Stream Deck, you can see my Stream Deck screen mirrors my BitFocus screen. What I lose here is things like you know, running a one button run code in VS Code or save or whatever. Let's get BitFocus running as a plugin. All right, so we're going to run the Stream Deck software. That's going to take control back from BitFocus. And we are going to click this little icon up here, which is the store for Stream Deck. We're going to search for Companion install and we want to install the plugin we have to install the pre-configured pre profiles and once everything is done we are good to go here all right so we have profiles that allow us to flip flop back and forth and of course you can see i've already had this installed once to make sure it works so we'll get rid of this All right, so as you can see here, we're running the Stream Deck XL, and that's just the one I have. If you have the regular Stream Deck or the Mini, you're going to see that there. Companion XL is the profile that was installed with BitFocus. Now, we can flip-flop back and forth between our default profile or whatever you have your profile named as and the Companion XL profile. That makes things a little easier because you can install a button to uh, change profiles. 
right? We can do this, we can do switch profile and we'll call it companion. So now if we click the companion profile, it switches us over and you can do the same thing here. You can add in a button that is uh, back to stream deck. And I wish I could type today. There we go. And if we click that, we go back to the Stream Deck profile. All well and good. But let's say we want to build ourselves a, like a mixed thing, a mixed use item. And let's call this one recording. So now we have a folder. Click that and that gets us here. Now we can do this. We can go drag our companion button up here. And what this is going to do, it's going to allow us to mirror buttons that we have set. So I have this one set. This is just gonna tell us what uh, input is available on my ATEM, or not available, but what input is currently being used on my ATEM. It's button X2. And we can see here, this is button 1.2. Button X2, and that should relate to what page is currently in use. So we are going to set it from dynamic to page one because this is page one. Now, if I change on my ATEM, you can see the input that is selected changed from input one to input four. And I just have my my label set up. So input one is FC for face cam. Anyway, let's say we want to, oh, I don't know. Pick another thing here. Let's pick a uh, action. Let's pick a soundboard action. We're going to play audio. Now we can mix and match between bit focus companion commands and stream deck commands. And this gets us all the way where we need to be. All right, so that is how you run BitFocus as a Stream Deck plugin to get you the total picture, the total package, the 100% solution that was previously missing from the way I did things anyway. I don't, I don't know if the plugin option is widely known. Uh, if you search for Stream Deck companion plugin, you're directed to the companion page, and it really doesn't doesn't cover running it as a plugin that I could find. I hope this has been useful for any of you that are running uh, Stream Deck and Companion and wanting an easier way to integrate the two. All right, guys. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.